Hello students, Big Daddy Salvi is back with more hot takes and cold nips. Now in today's lesson, we're going to look at one of the most entertaining communities online, sovereign citizens. A sovereign citizen is someone who insists that they're not a citizen of their own country, but instead a citizen of like, the world. I, I actually don't know. Here's what Wikipedia says. The sovereign citizen movement, also SovSit movement or SovSits, is a loose grouping of primarily American litigants, activists, commentators, tax protesters, financial scheme promoters, and conspiracy theorists who claim to be answerable only to their particular interpretations of the common law and to not be subject to any government statutes or proceedings unless they consent to them. Yeah, you might be thinking, hey, that Wikipedia article sounds like it was making fun of sovereign citizens, and uh, yeah, it probably was. That's because sovereign citizens are excellent at putting themselves in hilarious situations where they lose horribly. Sovereign Citizen gets tased. Aw, I hate when they spoil the best part in the title play. I'm not a person. So you, you deal here with Admiralty Maritime Jurisdiction, which deals with persons, which I am not. What are you? I'm a man. I'm a man, yes. Are you a citizen? No. All right, let's try to guess which person in this video is going to tase him. This is also freedom of the press. I mean, I don't know what the hell law book you're reading, man, but it doesn't apply to me. You leave the camera with your mother outside the courtroom and you come in. <laughs> you are not God. You have no jurisdiction over me. God's not worried about cameras, sir. I am. All right. Okay, that guy's going to tase him. Well, why are you worried about cameras? Because you want to do something against wrong? Because you want to do something wrong? Because if, if it's against the rules, that means it's because somebody intends on wronging somebody else. Because they're afraid of being held accountable. P. Barnes. It's a nice speech, but you're still not coming in. You see, now I'm thinking maybe a minion's going to creep up behind him and hit him with the taser. Oh, nope. Step back. And you're using... And there's the minions. It never gets old. It only gets old when you start to feel bad for them. But that's not gonna happen. Ah, oh, stop, please. I'm not doing anything wrong. Hey, you know what? You guys are really overstepping your bounds right now. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a great community of sovereign citizen bullies. We all talk to each other. Hey, brother. Great vid. I laughed my butt off. This is like watching someone try out a new ability in a video game. My man unlocked the sovereign citizen power up, and the first thing he does is try to barge into a courtroom with his phone out. Fortunately, Penn and Teller's evil twins were there to tase him, which somehow he didn't see as a possibility in this situation. By the way, nice touch putting those minions in there. I thought that really heightened the experience. I was about to feel sympathy for this guy, but then the minions let me know that I'd be the odd one out if I wasn't laughing at this dumb dick sucking idiot and post hey you guys want to see the worst way to handle getting pulled over ever well here's about 10 of them yeah, i'm gonna have you for speeding 72 and a 55 is so speed, i need to see your driver's speeding license a crime. yes it is i need to see your license and proof of insurance sir can you prove that i'm driving sir i need to see your license and proof of insurance am i driving yes sir no, I'm not. I'm traveling. Yeah, they say they're traveling or some shit because it makes them exempt from U.S. law, but uh, no, it doesn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude ripped the window. A god among insects. First cop is badass as fuck. Dude, I'm too old for this. How you doing? How's it going? Hold on, let me get up there first and I'll talk to you. Can you not say citizen, sir? Yes? Uh, I'm going to opt out. This video just made me laugh over and over again. I don't like these intimidations. It's not intimidation, it's yes, the law. It is. It's not the I'm law. I'm down to three and I will break this glass. Don't break the glass, man. Buddy, you might not be an American citizen, but that is an American police officer, and they love to break windows. Uh, hey, muzzle top. <laughs> Does anyone have a video of this guy explaining to his boss how the window got broken? Yeah, we just went through a breathalyzer. We refused to stop through a breathalyzer test. I'm not driving, I'm traveling. All right, quick guess. What do you think is going to happen next? I do not consent. You've got no right. Whoa, this is, this is, this is thuggery. What the hell is going on? I do not consent. I do not consent. Almost shat myself laughing. Hey, I, I am asking him for his supervisor. I am asking you for your supervisor. Hey, okay, officer, I am asking you for your supervisor to come out here. Now you have busted my vehicle up, and now you are going to detain me. You are illegally getting into my vehicle. 
and now you have taken my car. Oh, what a bunch of nincompoops. Damn, even someone's grandma's punching down on these people. Are you tired of nefarious fascist police officers smashing your windows every time you get pulled over? Well, take your next social security check to Big Money Sovereign Citizens Window Replacement Service. No ID, no problem. No registration, you don't have to tell me shit. We're a sovereign company, which means we're not from anywhere, so we don't have to pay taxes or follow laws that keep us from employing child slave labor. So next time a state trooper shatters your window with the butt of his mag light just because you acted comically suspicious, give us a call. Our window replacement orphans will ride their tricycles over to your home and install a brand new window so you can go back to rolling it up in cops' faces and getting it smashed all over again. We have teams standing by all over this big piece of land we live on that nobody belongs to for sovereign citizens who think they can outfox a police officer who's probably been looking for a reason to break someone's window all fucking day. What that really means is we're located in Northern California, Oregon, Florida, and Penis Valley, Mississippi, where I was born in a burned down schoolhouse. That's Big Money Sovereign Citizens, windowreplacementservice.com if state troopers know your face by now. I normally don't root for the police unless they're in one of my many favorite comic book franchises, but if you people keep talking to cops like you have a Girl Scout in the trunk, I'm gonna be a very rich man. Oh, by the way, all the orphans are very sick with something right now, so keep your distance while they install your new window. And please don't feed them. They are sovereign citizens and they can forage their own meals. And I can get away with all this shit because I'm just traveling. Uh, yeah, and post. And yes, I do own that domain, and yes, it does forward to my merch store. Well, I could show you compilations of sovereign citizens getting their windows smashed for hours. There's simply so many of them. But no, I'd rather get inside the minds of these people so that I can mercilessly shit on them in brand new and exciting ways, and not at all accidentally stumble upon a reason to feel sympathy for them or anything. So here's Facebook. Sovereign citizens are a joke. The sovereign citizens are at it again. I swear to God, sovereign citizens are fucking R-worded. Oh, it's mostly just Facebook groups making fun of them. Well, this is odd. It seems like there's more people mocking the movement than there are people in the movement. Does that mean that the movement isn't big enough to mock? Because all I can find here are a few scattered posts. Why doesn't this group have a link for files to be downloaded? Someone posted a link for paperwork. I am searching for that link. Oh my god, you are asking for people to send you shit to be downloaded. Got the link right here, girl. Check out www.nevervaccinate.com. It's got all the info. And reply. And yes, I do in fact own that domain as well. And once again, it does redirect to my merch store. I have a question. I'm looking to become a sovereign citizen. I'm in my 60s and wanted to know know if I will still be able to receive social security benefits. Nope, we don't want you. I'm speaking on behalf of all sovereign citizens. You can go fuck off and stick to your benefits and reply. Well, I just saved that bitch's driver's side window. And speaking of savings, today's lesson is brought to you by Albert. <laughs> Uh-oh, here comes Albert. Oh, hey guys. Hey, Albert, what's new? Oh, everyone at this party is saying the nicest things about me. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay, so I overheard that guy over there saying how I'm helping him with his finances. What? Yeah, uh, apparently he downloaded me into his phone and then now I go through all of his income and expenses and every now and then I put a little bit of money aside in his savings account to help him out. Me, I do that. I know what this is. They're talking about the app, Albert. This, uh, this is, there's an app named Albert? Yeah. And it's totally free. And anyone can manage their money with Albert. I signed up at albert.com slash big money and they gave me a $150 bonus. Okay, but also I overheard somebody saying how I gave them their very own Albert debit card and now they get five to 20% cash back at their favorite merchants. So probably talking about me. No, dude, they're talking about the Albert app, not you. Albert, you don't even have a bank account. What? Look, look, look at Albert. This Albert has a bank account. I was nailed with an overdraft fee last week. I hate those. Oh, oh, well, you're not gonna get overdraft fees with me. Just ask Jerry over there. He said that instead, I will instantly spot you up to $250. I do that. That's me. That's the Albert app. Oh, uh, I don't know. I think they're talking about me. No way. I gotta go. No, no, no. no. Oh, oh, I almost it's forgot. A, it's a, it's a, I believe you went, oh God, <laughs> here comes Albert. Hey guys, did you see that guy over there? I helped him get his paycheck two days early. Wow, how'd you do that, Albert? Oh, I have no idea. But also it turns out that I have this team of financial experts, they're called geniuses, and like they help you out with all your financial questions, and like they, they, I've never even met these guys, but they work for me, I guess? I mean, that's just what people are talking about, so, you know, don't take my word for it. Albert, are you sure they're not just talking about a financial app that happens to be named Albert? Oh, no, man, they're definitely talking about me, trust me. Well, 
Do you charge maintenance fees? I had to ask the same question and uh, no. What about a minimum balance? No, no minimum balance. Yeah, right here. Albert, I just downloaded the Albert app at albert.com slash big money for free. Hey, I just gave you a $150 uh, sign up bonus. Way to go, Albert. I don't remember doing that. So if I wanted to go back to college, how much money should I put aside? Oh, totally, I have no idea. You're gonna have to ask my financial geniuses about that one, but hey, they're always there. They're ready to take all your questions. So I'm free to sign up for, maybe give Albert a try. I'm Albert. Yeah, I will. Cool. So what else is new with you? Oh, uh, I'm completely broke. Track your spending and manage your money with Albert. Go to albert.com slash big money today and sign up for free. Okay, welcome back. Thanks, Albert, for sponsoring this lesson. The app, not some random guy. And hey, speaking of random guys, guess what's about to happen to this one? You guys don't have this authority. You're gonna break my window. I'll open my door. Don't! Ow! Asshole! Yeah, good guess. So we've laughed and we've laughed at these sovereign citizens and their silly made-up rights, but we've only found like three of them online. So where are the rest of them hiding? And why is it on TikTok? Here's hashtag sovereign citizens, and as you can see, we got some bogeys. You are delaying me, which is a penal code violation in the state of California. That law only applies to U.S. citizens. Well, where are you a citizen of? I am not a U.S. citizen. Well, see, that's I am a mistaken. free inhabitant. I am that's of the earth. I do not belong to any corporation. I do not belong to any country. Yeah, but as no. long as you're in the sovereign states of the United States, you will abide by the rules no. and laws. See, uh, and you have a free in, no, a free inhabitant is is is. Uh, they are allowed to. They are. They're free people. They um, have all of the all of the rights of a U.S. citizen without following any of their laws. Well, that would just be pure anarchy. No. Nope. I can't even tell if this is pro-sovereign citizen, but the comments are: Call the police on him and file free citizens arrest on him. He impeding her travel and is her property. She isn't a commercial business. These states are undermining constitution. Give back your license, license plate, and registration of the car, which is your personal property, and be a traveler. I traveled up my boyfriend friend's butt while reading these comments until I got pulled over at a speed trap and the cop arrested my balls for not having an ID. And everything's legal. Oh, you know what? I know how to find the real sovereign citizens. I just gotta misspell it. Hashtag sovereign citizens and search. Yup, there we go. That's where they're all hiding. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Yes I am, yes I am, yes I am. Yeah, I don't really want to make fun of this one because it's oddly endearing. Like how could a cop ever smash her window? What I'm gonna do is a duet. Oh, I look good. I look good. Oh, I look good. Try not to do. Hang on, what's this bitch saying? Government funds are not politicians' money, it's our money. Their job is to facilitate it the way we see fit. Oh yeah, no, definitely, that's true. Wait a second, what if we don't have to pay taxes? Sovereign citizens? Try sovereign covid -iot. See, that guy tried to make fun of them, but he also spelled it wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna duet this shit, too. Oh my god, I look so good! I look so good! And, uh, hey, here's some guy using the tenets of sovereign citizenship to just ignore the president. I just watched a video by a young man, and I was very impressed. It says in the Declaration of Independence, and I quote, Governments are instituted among men, deriving their just power from the consent of the government. I, as an American citizen, would like to formally announce that I revoke my consent to be governed by this president. Yeah, for some reason, this TikTok is like flypaper for other people just quietly staring into camera. I, as an American citizen, would like to formally announce that I revoke my consent to be governed by this president. Do not tell me what to do. Like who would waste their time adding themselves to this nonsense? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm in there too. Do not tell me what to do. I'm a free man. I'm a citizen. I am not your subject. And I am banned from TikTok. But that's okay because I saved the most important video for last. Yes, that's right. This last video is going to make us all feel bad because it approaches these people from a mental health angle. So... We're gonna quickly realize that we're the assholes in this situation. Sovereign Citizens Movement, Mental Health and Personality. Yeah, time to feel bad and play. The Sovereign Citizen Movement is an anti-government ideology that started in the United States and spread to a number of other nations like Australia, Britain, Canada, and New Zealand. Sometimes sovereign citizens refer to themselves as freemen on the land. The core of their ideology is that no individual can be governed without first providing explicit consent. So essentially, 
They don't recognize the authority of the government to tell them what to do. They will not accept restrictions on their freedom. To them, every person is a nation unto themselves. Oh, that is so sad. Often, they don't pay taxes. They don't get their cars registered. They don't apply for a driver's license. They don't buy automobile insurance. They will not vote, obtain a marriage license, or use zip codes. So I guess they are underrepresented among mail carriers. Hang on, did he just make fun of them? They use the term special trust deposit. They refer to the government as a corporation. And they like the term chargeback notice. This one is popular when they are trying to get out of paying a bill. Oh, no way. Even the mental health video is shitting on these people. I find this movement to be pretty interesting. Most conspiracy theories don't have an upside to the person who believes in them. For example, if someone believes in alien lizard people, they usually don't believe that the lizard humanoids are going to give them money or break them out of jail. It's like the members of this group were thinking, if we're going to make stuff up anyway, we might as well get something out of it. This was supposed to make you feel bad. As far as mental health disorders, some are thought to have psychosis, including both hallucinations and delusions, although it is believed that the vast majority are not psychotic. So they probably don't have disorders like schizophrenia or a major mood disorder with psychosis. <laughs> All right, so basically fuck these people. In a sense, this movement provides a convenient way to escape any legal responsibility, although not actually a good way to escape it, but in someone's thinking, they could look at this as the ultimate exception to all laws. Rather than fight each law on its merits, it's easier to simply say, I'm exempt from all legal action. Again, highly convenient to a con artist, but also, I think, something that is tempting for somebody with conspiratorial thoughts. And you know how we treat people with conspiratorial thoughts, right? I would like to join this group seriously. My ideal life would just be off the grid. My father is in jail for following this shit. My younger siblings are having a terrible time. It's ruining my family's lives. Oh wait, now I feel bad again. Yeah, these people are alienating families. That's, that's not cool. Mental health issues like this are sad. I've seen some videos where a soft sick gets pulled over and gets their window smashed. I used to think it was funny to see stupid people get what they deserve, but now I just feel bad for them. Maybe this lesson was a mistake. Maybe I should just stop here and put it on the shelf. They actually have a point. Oh yeah? Which fucking point is that dipshit? Bless sovereign citizen. Oh yeah, yeah, now we're blessing them, okay. I love the sovereign citizen movement. It's standing up for my constitutional rights if I guess everybody else would rather live in a land where the police can be tyrant skeet, possibly George Floyd would be alive now if more people would be, you know, sovereign citizens instead of giving tyranny. And that's where it ends up, with the stupidest shit you've ever seen in your life. So, today's real lesson is all about the dangers of sympathy. Don't get sympathetic, you little fucking pussy. I may not be a sovereign citizen, but I am a Sauvignon citizen. That means I'm full-bodied with a peppery finish, and if a police officer so much as approaches me, there's a 90% chance I'm getting tased. As a Sauvignon citizen, I may not be a member of the United States, but I do have a piece of paper I bought off the internet that identifies me as grown in the Bordeaux region of France, where the night's chill leaves the thinnest layer of frost, perfect for the dark red fruity notes I'm known for. Also, if anyone asks me for my driver's license, I'll spray blood out my eyes like a horned lizard and continue doing whatever it was that requires a driver's license. Nobody can stop me until I've achieved my goal of becoming entirely Sauvignon. The Sauvignon code says no country, no king, medium high tannins. And those are words I will defend no matter how many times I need to replace my windows or see my car impounded because the license plate is just a piece of paper that reads private reserve. One day this country will finally wake up and realize that the government doesn't exist and police aren't allowed to arrest you until you've decanted for at least an hour. Also, as a Sauvignon citizen, my appearance on To Catch a Predator is not legally binding in any way, nor are the forged checks that multiple state counties that I don't recognize are out to get me for without my consent. And post! Well, in conclusion, let's all just appreciate appreciate how nice it is to have one common group that we can all make fun of without feeling bad, especially in these divisive times. And to all of you sovereign citizens watching this video right now, don't forget that your taxes are due April 18th. <laughs> all right, good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Oh, fuck, wait a second. Did I just spend 20 minutes rooting for the police? Okay, now I feel bad.
well today Eric punched down on a bunch of nincom poops wearing the black soy boy t-shirt. Man, you gotta try this thing out for yourself. It's the smoothest cotton I've ever felt in my goddamn life. I even ate a couple pieces of it and it was so tender and soft. Kinda like the rest of the high quality cotton that you'll get on the neongrizzly.com store. Head on over there today, get yourself some stickers, we got posters, mouse pads. And motherfucker, you think we don't have pins? We have pins. I'm gonna bury you with these pins. Get yourself a tank top. You'll be the hottest little boy on the beach. We got tie-dye. We got everything. We got IMJFK Jr. Jr. Would not recommend wearing this in public. Maybe give it to a girlfriend that you don't like. Get on over there today. Get yourself something real nice. And don't forget to follow Neon Grizzly on all social media. Right here. It's all over the fucking screen. Click. You, you can't click one. Go to them. Just type it into your fucking browser. You lazy piece of shit. Yeah.